All right, guys, review for atomic structures. Atomic structure quiz. All right, guys. All right, the atom has a nucleus, which has protons and neutrons. Neutrons are zero, protons are plus, and the electron goes around it. Electrons has sublevels. Okay? What do you call the outermost level, the electrons in the outermost level? The whole thing is an electron cloud, but the cloud are specified as sublevel, each sublevel. All right, the outermost level electrons are called valence electrons. All right, these are called valence electrons. The valence electrons are the one which you ca it can get lost, it can gain. All right, the electron can come into that level. That level, valence electron can get lost from here and go to another atom, okay? So you have protons, neutrons, and electrons. So let's see, the pro you know it, proton number has to be same as electron number. All right, protons are called atomic number. Those are all the basic of and structure of atom, okay? And neutrons and protons are called atomic mass. All right, so let me write one um, atom. Let's see chlorine. Can you look up uh, chlorine atomic number and atomic mass in the uh, periodic table, please? What's atomic number? 17, atomic mass in the periodic table. Mm -hmm. 35. 35, all right. So this chlorine atom has the mass of 35. And then atomic number 17 means 17 proton, all right? So when you have to write the name of this chlorine, you have to write chlorine dash 35. It is not negative, it is dash 35. What does this dash 35 mean? The, this chlorine atom has a mass of 35. Can the, another chlorine atom, can it be 36? So what do you call these two chlorine? Isotopes, got it? So you do not expect, or you do not um, think that every atom of chlorine should have 35 from the periodic table. All right, from the periodic table is the average of all the isotopes, average it out, and they put it in the periodic table, all right? But if you take another chlorine, it can be 35, another one, it can be 34, all right? All the average is 35 point something, correct? So these are isotopes. So when you see any element with the dash and the number, that means that element has a mass of the, the, the weight of that. Okay, that can be different weights. Okay, so let's look at a positive ion. What do you know if it is a positive one atom? Any atom, if they have a positive one, What does positive one means? 
one more proton than electron, correct. All right, so write it down. One more proton than electron. So actually what happens to have one more proton? The electron leaves the atom, go away, loses an atom. Uh, the atom loses an electron. All right, that's why you have one less electron. All right, if it is plus one. Plus two, you have two less electron. All right, plus three, three less electron. Make sense? Okay. So how about negative one atom? If it is negative one, what's happening in that atom? One more electron, all right? So when you have to look at the positive and negative ion, cation and anion, you have to just find the protons, all right? If it is a positive ion, the electron will be less than a proton. If it is a negative ion, the electron will be more, okay? So let's look at um, nitrogen. All right, nitrogen can be negative three. What does that mean? Okay, let's see, Na nitrogen negative three, how many protons, neutrons, and electrons are in that nitrogen atom? Go ahead and do it quick. If you know this, first what you have to find out. How many, how many protons are there? So atomic number. Take out your um, periodic table from the textbook, please. You don't even need to. So tell me nitrogen. How many, what is the atomic number? Seven. Seven. But you have to now go ahead and find out the atomic mass. How much? 14. All right, these two find out first. And then you can fill this in. So atomic number seven, proton is seven. And electron will be seven. How many neutrons? 14 minus seven, seven. But this, is, this one is a neutral atom because electron and protons are the same. But this atom has negative three. So how many extra ne uh, electron will you have? Three extra, so total of 10. Make sense? Got it? Just write it down. Don't do it in your head. All right? It's an easy math, but its chances are you can be wrong. If you write it down, it's so you are 100% sure this is correct. All right? Okay, let's do one more uh, for a positive ion. So which one is positive? Uh, let's see, I, F, E. Fe plus three. Now, what is Fe atomic number and atomic mass? An atomic mass? Is it rounded up? Hmm? 56. All right, this is a big atom. So let's see how many protons, neutrons, and electrons by looking at this. So 26 protons, 26 electron, if it is neutral, and how many neutrons? 30 neutrons. But this is plus three here. All right, plus three doesn't mean it it should not interfere with the atomic mass or atomic uh, number. 
All right, plus three means the electrons are leaving that atom, losing atoms. So how many electrons does it lose? Three. All right, three less electron than proton, so you have to minus three here, so 23. Make sense? Very easy. All right? And also make sure the atom, some atom, you're going to see chlorine dash 35, fluorine dash, fluorine is, I don't know how much is it, 19. All right? So if it is dash 35, that means that 35 or whatever number after the line is the atomic mass. Okay? So when you when you see the name, you should be able to find out the symbol like this. If you see the symbol, you should be able to put the protons, neutrons, and electrons. Either they can be cation or anion. Cation is positive. Anion is negative. That's all, guys. All right, got it? Okay, so study, study, study. Let me